Amen. The liturgy then continues on page four with the creed. All us who are able to please stand. Together. Great indeed, we confess, is the mystery of our religion. Jesus was manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by the angels, preached among the nations, believed on in the world, taken up in glory. Therefore, let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, and lay again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. The instruction about evolutions, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and the eternal judgment. By this we will know the Spirit of God, and every spirit which confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. God should promise to hear when we pray in the name of Christ, therefore in confidence and trust we pray to the church. O God, our God, in light of the church for its mission. Breathe fresh life into your people. Give us power to reveal Christ in the world of action. We pray to the world, Creator of all, lead us and every people into the way of justice and peace. Awaken us a sense of wonder for the earth and all that is in it. Teach us to care for the poetry We pray for the community. God of truth, inspire with your wisdom those whose decisions affect the lives of others. Take our courage. Give grace to all whose lives are linked with ours. May we serve Christ and one another, and love as Christ loves us. Pray for those in need, especially those who have asked for our prayers, whose names are listed here. And all others who we remember at this time, either silently or aloud. God of hope, comfort, and restore all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Make us willing agents of your compassion. Amen. Remember with thanksgiving those who have died in the faith of Christ and all others whose faith is known to you alone, especially John Cuvea, Mary Rizzo, and Ivan Vesuvius, and all whose names we bring before you as we now speak them, either silently or aloud. Loving God, hands we commend them. Give comfort to those who mourn. Bring them peace in that time of loss. Praise you for all your saints who have entered your eternal glory. Yes. We pray for ourselves and our ministers. O oh God, who have called us to serve you, grant that they walk in your presence, your love in our hearts, your truth in our minds, your strength in our wills, until the joy of our homecoming and the welcome of your embrace is alive in us through Christ, by whom and in whom all things are possible. God of loving heart, we confess before you those places in our hearts where we refuse to enter. People we have refused to love, habits we never get around to changing, good things we have left undone. Come to us in the light of Christ, shine those places we have hidden from you, safely delivered into our hearts that Christ may find all among us. Amen. The cross of Christ, may God have mercy on you, pardon you, and set you free. May you come to know that you are forgiven and be at peace. May God strengthen in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Amen. Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have these gifts to share. Accept and use our offerings for, our, for your glory and for the service of your beloved community. Tim 487.
service teaching is on page six. May God be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to God. Gather now, dear friends, around the banquet table of Christ. Come from near and far from the familiar and the unknown. We are invited to this feast by Christ, who has opened the invitation to you and to me, not because we have earned it, but because it is a gift of God's mercy and grace. Come as you are. God does not rely on human division and prejudices, but welcomes all who yearn to be bold, to see in Christ Jesus a pathway to hope for the world. Open your arms to embrace the abundance which Christ has erected in bodies. Bring gifts of thankful praise and offerings from your hearts so that Christ's work in the world might be made real for the work of this congregation. And a thanksgiving for all that we've been given by God, whom we know to be a loving God. We offer our voices in praise and thanksgiving with the chorus of angels throughout all time who join us in singing.